geographically distributed mm -hmm. by, by its nature. So, and if I understand it, you're not trying to bring all that information into one big data temple. Right? You're going to where the, the data is. Can you talk a little bit about how you see that, that working, maybe specifically in a commercial case and, and even in a you know, legal scenario? How will a customer actually practically exploit your software to solve you know, problems related to who knows what, when, where? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think what, what you'll have is a, essentially as, as data is either uh, consolidated in certain locations or identified in, in, in various ones, you'll have to go and run uh, an algorithmic process to get at the key facts and relationships, and you'll have to store and process that information across the various uh, data stores. So rather than sort of necessarily consolidating everything in one place, what we think about is there's a there's there's data, and then there's the the analytical or understanding layer. There's the the entities and the relationships, which is a, a metadata. The meta, it, it, yeah. You can think of it as very very a lot uh, of it. <laughs> in, everything is metadata in our yeah, models. Right. So, so <laughs> it, it matters not just that a particular person is talked about, but who they spoke with. That's that's that you can think of that as metadata, but that's ultimately yeah, a, that's, a, a yeah. very very sort of feature-rich uh, environment which you can run statistics on, and to the extent that you can start to summarize those entities and the things that they're doing, you can run the statistics either locally or, you know, uh, we'd like to do some, Well, we'd love to do some follow-up with you guys. Love, I mean, we can talk for an hour on this, talk more about the technology and the solutions in place, because that's the future, what you guys are doing is the future.